This is Bangali Reserve, one of Pitwater's most significant crown lands. Bangali remains a wild place, a strip of cliff line that's pretty well unchanged despite it being more than 230 years since colonisation. The reserve extends northwards along the cliff edge from Avalon Head, then around Bangali Head to where it meets with Kareel Head Reserve. Over a walking distance of more than one kilometre, there are only two practical access points that are more or less at the beginning and the end of the walk. But there's a third access, a 3.6 metre wide strip of public land that is in effect a public pathway. Because it has never been signed, most people don't know of it. It runs up to Bangali Reserve between numbers 32 and 34 stroke 36 Watkins Road, Avalon, and it's 100 metres long. Since 1906, successive municipal councils, Warringah, Pitwater and now the Northern Beaches, have let the upper section become a tangle of weeds. It appears that the lower section has been recently cleared, presumably by the owner of number 32 Watkins Road, the applicant. I used this path several times between 2012 and 2014, having discovered it when conducting an audit for Pitwater Council about the state of all of Pitwater's 300-odd pathways. At the time, a number of shrubs obstructed the lower entrance, possibly as a deterrent to would-be walkers. That audit was the Pitwater Pathways Report. It was delivered to Council in February 2013 as a Council requested response to the Pitwater Walks and Rides Strategy Master Plan Review of June 2011. Northern Beaches Council intends to sell this public pathway to the owner of 32 Watkins Road, Avalon, to facilitate subdivision of number 32 and the potential construction of an additional house. My understanding is the sale of the land is essential to the granting of the subdivision. Now what's happened to this pathway is an old trick. The council, scandalously, doesn't tell the public about their public land by refusing to erect appropriate signage like public pathway or access to Bangali Reserve. The path, deliberately neglected and untended, becomes impassable over time, a process sometimes helped along by residents. Claims are then made that the pathway is unusable and a liability. Stand by for safety claims that will conveniently ignore that there is no danger on this path until you get to the far edge of the reserve proper and the cliff edge. And there's another very good reason for the path to be maintained. Emergency access. We know of at least one instance of the fire brigade using an adjacent property for access so as to control a fire in the reserve. That resident advocates emergency access to the reserve via this pathway rather than his home. Should this pathway be sold off, the relatively meagre proceeds will go to the state of New South Wales, not the Northern Beaches Council, so there will be no local benefit at all. Rather, the public will lose not only access, but amenity and equity as well. Because it is of high value to the Pitwater community, we state emphatically that Council should not only refuse to sell this pathway, but commence restoration as soon as possible so as to enable ready access. Council should also erect appropriate signage at the bottom of the path and at the top to assist people rather than hinder them as has been past practice and we look to our councillors to assist this process. Now the State Government's Parks for People program has said that it quote supports more green, open and public space in New South Wales and increased tree canopy and green cover. And Rob Stokes recently said during the COVID-19 pandemic, we have learned just how valuable our public open spaces are for everyone's health and well-being. And Mayor Reagan also acknowledged the importance of the community becoming, quote, involved in improving the open space in their area. Now we know the politicians, the aforementioned included, have a tendency to make motherhood statements, but here's a couple they should pay attention to.
I've been walking this path for, since I arrived in Avalon and you know as people do you just walk the path and look ahead I've never looked to the right or the left so I never realized here to the left behind the camera is a pathway that we could take with my daughter and my baby instead of slipping down the rocks a little bit sometimes so I'm very excited to know that this pathway may be in the future could be open to the public it's very exciting news I really really want this pathway to be open I want council to open it and let it be acknowledged to the public and to the local people but this is another option instead of just going up and down we have a beautiful new pathway that just needs to be slashed and open and a safe journey to another area of this gorgeous um, Bangali walk. You're a lady who's walking through here mm. with your daughter and mm. granddaughter mm -hmm. am I correct and um, you don't see there's a safety issue? No. I mean you know otherwise we might as well just stay at home if, there's, if you're worried about safety every day of your life and you know you, you've got a track to walk on you stay on it and if you don't wish to stay on it it's your own responsibility no one else's my name is Jasmine Nichols and I am a resident of Avalon and I would like this interview to be taken as a submission to council that we would like this undiscovered path that we just found about on the Bangali cliffs to be opened up cleared and opened up back to the public and not being sold to private residents. We want it to be given back to the community of Avalon as it should be. There's no risk to it. It's a beautiful new kind of discovery and this is what we should continue to do and discover in things in our communities and have a nice and good environment for our future children. That's fantastic and of course it already belongs to the community. Yeah. The threat is they're going to take it away we from the community. We don't want it to be taken away. We want it to be opened up, cleared and used by us.